What I've been presenting yesterday in the, in the session yesterday afternoon was about a randomized phase three clinical trial that we did, um, testing a, a new form of radiotherapy called intensity modulated radiotherapy. What we've done is to um, analyze the, the ability of this technology to reduce the radiation dose of the salivary glands in patients undergoing radiotherapy for head and neck cancer. Uh, we, we randomized 94 patients between 2004 and 2008. Uh, a simple one-to-one -one randomization between standard conventional radiotherapy using lateral opposed fields versus a parotid gland sparing IMRT approach. And what we found is the main endpoint of the trial was the proportion of patients who reported moderate to severe xerostomia at 12 months after completing treatment. And what we found is patients treated with conventional radiotherapy had a 74% risk of severe and moderate xerostomia compared to a 39% risk um, with patients treated with, with the new technology. So approximately a halving of the um, main complication of head and neck radiotherapy. We, we also presented some physical um, quantitative measurements of saliva flow to confirm the patient reported endpoints. And we found that the um, after radiotherapy in patients who've been treated with conventional radiotherapy, hardly any patients in the trial had measurable saliva flow after treatment. Um, compared to about 50% of the patients um, who'd received IMRT. So again, confirmatory evidence of, uh, of um, preservation of salivary flow rates with IMRT-treated patients. So, so the main conclusions of the study um, were that in, the, in this first randomized trial ever, ever done in squamous cell carcinoma of the, of the head and neck, that we've proven that the new technology allows us to reduce the dose to the salivary tissue, um, it allows maintain, maintenance of saliva production, and also improves patient reported outcomes in terms of dry mouth, swallowing, speech, and so on. So what we're hoping to do is, is now that we've shown that um, intensity modulated radiotherapy can improve patient-related outcomes, we're, ne we're now hope hopefully going to implement that across the country. Um, and we did, as part of the study, we had uh, six centres in the UK um, delivering IMRT in the trial. Uh, we now have another, a second study called COSTAR, which has started last year, and that's recruited now 12 centres around the country um, to, to uh, deliver IMRT to patients. And we have a, a third trial plan to look at IMRT for radiation dose escalation to see if we can improve the cure rates of head and neck cancers. And that study will hopefully be recruiting about 20 centres. So we're, we're getting up to the majority of head and neck centres around the UK able to deliver this treatment now.